guys, Nicole's here really quick for Tina on Facebook. See, ask, and ye shall receive. I had a couple minutes today to show you a cool trick on a video. Someone asked me how I made a card. I'm always happy to share. Sometimes I don't know what techniques you want me to show you. So I love it when you guys ask me how to do a very specific technique because I'm so happy to show you. So she was asking me, because her she, um, I believe she's doing a birthday party for her daughter, a paint splatter birthday party, how cute is that? And she was wondering how I did these paint splatters in the back. Um, so I'm gonna show Tina really fast how I did that. So let me bring this a little closer so you can see. Hopefully you get a good look there. Isn't that a fun card? Those are magnets, how cool is that? And so eventually, if I send this to uh, one of my cousins in college, um, they can take the embellishments off and they're actual magnets. How fun is that? Okay, so um, I recently bought these Molo to Moloto um, acrylic pens and it's really cool because it's just really high quality liquid acrylic inside the pens. So um, I bought neon because you know my love for neon um, and I only bought three. They're kind of expensive. I think they were like four for something a piece. It's kind of it's kind of expensive for my blood but um, I really liked them and I was like oh I'll give them a try and see if they work and they work really good. So as you can tell um, it's just a uh, probably a, I would call this probably a medium tip pen but they call this their small tip so that's as small as it gets and when you get it the tip has nothing in it and you have to press down and you can see that I got some paint right there um, and it gets the paint flowing um, and shaking it up is a good thing too and all I did for this card was I freehanded some splotches so all you want to do is just freehand the main little splotchy area right there and usually paint splatters have a couple extra little pieces out like this and then I just colored in the paper now this is a, a acrylic pen um, full of acrylic paint so I'm using a really um, like fluffy cardstock I actually think I'm using um, what cardstock am I using? Uh, I forget what cardstock I'm using. Coordinations, which is like a really fluffy cardstock, so it's gonna um, pulp the paper a little bit. Um, that's just because of the paper that I'm using. If you used, you know, more rigid, you know, more uh, solid paper, less fluffy paper, it wouldn't do that. So I'm just gonna color in my little splotches. And what I did to make the extra ones. So I just went around like this. Now here's the cool part about these pens. So I'm gonna let that kind of dry and I'm gonna do another splotchy piece right here in the yellow color. Okay, and I'm gonna put that behind, isn't that yellow like so bright? I'm gonna put the yellow behind the pink, color this in. Okay, really quickly. Here's what's cool about these pens. That because they're straight up paint, they sit on top of the other paint perfectly. So you can really layer your colors, which is really fun when you're doing something like this. At the end of it all, you can splatter your, splatter, splatter, however you like to put it, your paint. How fun is that? And then all you would want to do is take the next little one and create another little splatter. Maybe like a little one right here. Anyways, you get the idea. It's really easy to freehand these splatters. And if you have a hard time, um, you know, visualizing what a splatter should look like, just Google one and trace it. And before you know it, you'll have a really awesome looking background. So that is how I freehanded the card, and I promise you can do it too. Thank you so much, Tina, for asking the question on Facebook. We love to hear from you, and happy day, guys. Bye. Check us out at sweetstampshop.com, and check out all of our cool design team stuff on sweetstampshop.blogspot.com.